Hey guys, Yovi here for the 7 Days of Halloween. This is my top 5, my part, me, myself, I, I'm alone here, I have no friends. Let's start this bitch. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> being a cunt today. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, number five is Human Centipede 2. Maybe he's connecting the pain that a centipede inflicts with the psychological and sexual abuse inflicted on him by his father. <laughs> There's nothing to worry about. I'm sure it's just a passing phase. Why you ask? Because it's the most disturbing, most disgusting, most vile movie I have ever seen in my entire life next to a Serbian film. What I mean by that is it's disgusting. What people do in that movie, you, you, it's illegal in every country and every state you will ever watch. Second fact is that Martin, the cat main character, is possibly the most disturbing yet sentimental character you will ever see put into a horror movie slash movie. What I mean is that he's psycho, but his entire family life and backstory is depressing. Third thing is that it is the most eeriest most disturbing movie I have ever watched. It's shot all in black and white, and there's a lot of still shots of of centipedes and of people. And that's why I'll put it as my number five. Okay, number four, I gotta put down The Exorcist. Something beyond comprehension is happening to a little girl on this street, in this house. A man has been sent for as a last resort. Exorcist, released in 1973. I put it down as number four for one major reason. It literally had people wheeled out in the movie theater in gurneys. That's how scary the movie was. The movie was so scary, people had to be wheeled out in gurneys because they were terrified. They had heart attacks. Heart attacks, it was insane. Second reason is because the movie pretty much inspired the entire exorcism genre. Without that movie, we wouldn't have movies such as Drag Me to Hell. And everybody loves Drag Me to Hell. I like Drag Me to Hell. It's not on this list though, but I like it. Number three. For my number three, I put two up, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I put down my look. For my number three, I'll put down The Woman in Black. Tomorrow Black. afternoon tea, there's a shift in the air. A bone trembling chill that tells you she's there. There are those who believe the whole town is cursed, but the house in the marsh is by far the worst. Dorn in Black, released in 2012, starring Daniel Radcliffe, is possibly one of my scariest movies to watch during Halloween. Few reasons why. This last scene, the literal last scene of the movie, is possibly the most scariest that I've seen. Can't really say much about that, just check it out. Um, it still messes with me today, actually. I'll be sleeping in my room, sometimes I just think about the woman in black, and then, fuck. There goes my night of sleep. And third reason, it knew what it was. It knew that it was a haunting movie about a house and some guy who went to a house. They didn't add any side characters, they didn't add any side black back plots, we didn't add any junk that we didn't need. They added a woman in black and Daniel Radcliffe getting scared as fuck. And you know what? They made magic. Okay, guys. That's why I chose woman in black as number three. On to number two. Okay, guys. For number two, I'm going to pick the original Halloween. Tonight's brutal murders was described by police as Manson-like in its viciousness. Three people brutally murdered and a ten-year-old boy being held in custody. The original Halloween, shot in 1978 starring Jamie Lee Curtis, is hands down my number two. I'm picking it because, first of all, it created an entire genre of movies, of horror movie, the slasher. Without this, without Halloween, we wouldn't have Friday 13th, Freddy vs. Jason, Fr Nightmare on Elm Street, Child's Play, we wouldn't have any of those movies. And also, it stands the test of time. It's still scary today. I've watched it recently. I got scared 
the fuck out of me. That doesn't make any sense, but I got to scare the fuck out of me. Also, it gave us a badass theme song. If you guys don't know the theme song, here it is. And guys, that's why I pick Halloween for my number two. On to number one. Okay guys, for number one, I'm going to pick The Conjuring. But Yovi, why don't you pick Halloween for number one? It's Halloween! We ain't Halloween! You gotta pick it for number one, Yovi! Fuck you. The Conjuring. There's something horrible happening in my house. It's November 1st, 1971. I'm sitting here with Carolyn Perrin, who, with her family, has been experiencing supernatural occurrences. You picking up anything in here, hon? Something awful happened here, Ed. Conjuring, for my number one. Yes, it's my number one. Reasons why? First of all, it's scary as fuck. What I mean by that is that it's scary as fuck. That's what I mean for that. Number two, it's literally rated R just for horror, just for being scary. There's no blood. There's no sex, there's no cursing, it's just scary. And number three, it broke the horror mold. It's a ghost movie based on true events that's not shot in a hidden film scenario. How long has it been since we got a good non-hidden film ghost movie? A fucking while. I will repeat it again, a fucking while. So that's why The Conjuring is number one. Okay guys, that's all for me today. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed creating the list and sharing it with you guys. And guys, write in the description if you enjoyed the list, if you agree, if you disagree, what do you guys consider as your top five horror movies of Halloween that you enjoy watching? Guys, check out Gabe's video right here. And leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you want it. If you want to see more of this beautiful mug, because I'm the beautiful mug, Gabe's not, I am. So guys, thanks Gabe. So guys, as always, thanks for watching and have an awesome day.